that leads to, you know, Carlos, you know, was saying after the race, you know, I, you know, I don't have a job next year. I hope this helps. Right, um, yeah. And it definitely has helped. Um, he is now on Red Bull's radar for 2025. Honestly, I think he's been on Red Bull's radar forever, though, because he was formerly with the Red Bull right. family. And I think Red Bull really likes to keep things in the family and keep everything close to the chest. So I think yeah. regardless of him winning in Australia or not, I think Red Bull would still at least throw the name into the ring. It could be a really hard and fast no, but he would still be brought up just because he's from that original, you know, Red Bull family. Yeah, and I think it would be enticing to him because, yeah, he, you know, had a good, you know, he had a good time at um, Toro Rosso before he moved on, I think, to, um, I think he was at Force India right after. Um, but I, I think that, you know, Red, Red Bull is a completely different animal than the B team. So, you know, it could be something that he's open to. Um, and I also think that unless Daniel, you know, poor Daniel gets his shit together yeah. and starts performing a little better. Um, the guy who's probably going to be most screwed over out of this whole situation could be Liam Lawson. Um, Cause he's the, the one who should have a seat at RB that isn't there yet. And, you know, depending on how things go, it might push him back another year if Carlos is thrown into the mix. Yes and no. I want to say though, like if, I could see, this is totally out of left field, I could see, and this is going to play into, you know, more of our silly season, all season madness, but I could see, yeah. hang on here, if Alonzo leaves, I could see Liam Lawson going to Aston Martin. Oh, interesting. I don't know why, but I just, I can see it. Okay. I mean, I, I'm not mad about it. It would give Lance Stroll an opportunity to be the number one driver, mm -hmm. but Aston Martin has seen that he has proven experience in the car and it's yep. not a Nick DeVries situation. Yep. Um, so, so yeah, I, I can, I, I can totally see that. He's better and he has more experience than like a rookie coming into Williams. You know right. what I mean? And mm -hmm. I think him going to like, I think Yuki is just getting, I think Yuki's going to be the one that's the most screwed because he's going to be stuck at v carb his whole career and not be able to move up into a better car like that honda money's tying him there which is great he'll probably yeah. always have a seat but he's not going to have the best car and i think liam if he has the opportunity to jump to a team where he has a better car i think he would do that i don't know that, why he wouldn't well it, exactly i mean there you know obviously he would love to stay in the red bull family but if aston martin comes calling then yeah. you know what's he gonna say no he wants to be on the formula one grid you right. know as badly as anybody does so i i think that you know carlos winning this race and and carlos doing what he has done and will continue to do is going to make silly season extremely interesting once we get to the summer portion of this yeah, Slate. and I think, honestly, Carlos would be a really good teammate with Max. I think he'd really push Max, because currently Checo's not pushing Max. I know Max yeah. doesn't need to be pushed. However, I think they would really feed off of each other and work together well. I know that they're, you know, friendly at least. And, and they I already have worked together. Be, they were teammates right. at Toro Rot as well. Yeah, and I, I think it would be good for both of them. And I think, again, it's not just because I'm not Checo's number one fan, but Checo's not doing a lot to help himself and I think if you put Carlos in that car he's going to be posting times a lot closer to Max than Checo would be yeah you know his performance this weekend in the Ferrari has really you know gone to you know make me question what would it be like if he's in a Red Bull car right exactly so that could be really interesting yeah oh so many another questions. tangent about silly season in what March Go team. Yep, it's it's still March.